Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. The Town Mouse and the Country Mouse. There was a there was once a little brown country mouse. His name was Pinpin. He lived in a house in a hat. Oh, the house is very nice. In spring, he lay in the grass and listened to the birds singing. In summer, he nibbled on wild strawberries and cut grass for his winter bed. One day, as the weather grew colder and chill, wind blew, he heard a tap 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 at his floor, at his door. Pippin, Pippin, called a voice, is your cousin. I have come to stay. Pippin, Flog, open, open the door. Toby, town mouse, he cried, come in. Pippin made Toby a sit from soft to a moss. It's too damp, said Tommy Town Mouse. Pimpin took Tommy on a walk. It too. Smell the flowers. But the flowers made him sneeze. Oh. The Thomas is also cute. That night, Pinpin went to his food store. He picked out his best nuts and berries. Yuck, said Tommy, Toby Town Mouse. I hate nuts. I think the country mouse will feel bad a little bit. This is this all you have in town? We eat like kings. Really? asked Pimpin. Come and see for yourself, said Toby. The country man is horrible. You will never want to live here again. The next day, the con cousin woke up at two. We will take the train, said Toby. They ran to the station. Soon they heard the rattle, rattle of pit pedal jumping on the railway line. The train, train's coming! cried Pimpin. It's huge. It come. to a stop with a squeak and a snort. Oh, the driver is an animal. There's Pimpin and Toby. 
a door flew open. Jump, said Toby. The train gave a shriek and a snort, and it was off again. Joka, 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 doo doo. The sound of the train. I train. Then Ben looked out of the window. He could see trees waving their branches. Then there were no trees at all. Just tall buildings touching the sky. There was the beautiful trees, and there is only tower now. As the sky grew dark, the train stopped it again. Toby twitched it, his whiskers. He lifted the air. We're here, he said. At last, I am in town again. Home, sweet home. Now follow me. Toby lifted into the train platform. Quick, quick, pin, pin! He called. Watch out for stamping feet. Help! The mice ran out of the station and onto the bus street. Pimping gasped. There was so much noise. Vroom. The cars roomed. Her horns beeped, and the smells. Pimpin sniffed his first sand and got on the smoke. Out of my way! There's Tommy and Pimpin. And this said Tommy, proudly pointing his paw, is my house. He crept and sought a small hole. Small hole. Pimpin followed. They ran down dark corridors under the floor. And up, escape stairs behind the wall. Isn't this grand? They danced across the empty. Ballroom, do do, and played with toys in children's nursery. Race you to the dining room," said Toby. "Time for a feast." The mice jumped into the table and. Bear to eat. In the middle of pie, they licked it up cream. Toby ate his way, so the cheese. While Pimpin dipped his paw in chocolate sauce. Gosh, said Toby, I am nearly full. Yum. Pimpin 
glutted his tummy. I think Hick. I am going to be Hick sick. Suddenly, the table shook. Dobby turned. Run of your life. It's the cat, he cried. Hello, purred the cat, licking her lips. My dinner time, I think. Toby grunted, pimpin. Come on, he said. They, they did this way and that. Points, points, went the hungry cat. He knocked it over the jug and it crashed it on the floor. Quick, Toby called into his hall. Pimpin rushed. The cat leaped. She sweep it and pimp it with her pointy chillos and missed it. Dark. Dark. He hissed. Pimpin dropped it to the floor. Oh, Cousin, he said, I want to go to home. Not yet, said Toby. You haven't tried my fine fear reader bear bed. But the next morning, Pimpin still wanted to leave. Toby gave him a map to the station. Don't get lost. Goodbye, said Pimpin. Pimpin ran to the station. He danced it in and out of the stamping feet and hid in a bag to get on the train. In the starry dark, Pimpin finally reached his hated home, sweet home. He sniffed the sweet cold air and smiled. Then he slugged it down his, in his warm high bed. This is the life for me, he said. The end. Yes, today I read the story. It was fun. Bye.